Hi kids, I'm Miss Booksy and this is Storytime. The Underwater Ball. Chapter one, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Once upon a very good time, Cinderella was hanging out on the beach with one of her princess besties, the Little Mermaid. Oh, I just love Paradise Beach. Have you ever seen water so blue or sand so glittery and soft? The water is always the perfect temperature. Not too warm, not too cold. To quote my girl Goldilocks, it's just right. And the sand is perfect for royal sandcastle building. Look! Wow, that looks just like your palace. Watch this. Wow, that is so cool. Whoa! I had a little help. Nothing wrong with a little magic, honey. Oh look, a rainbow! <laughs> wow, and a dolphin, yay! Oh hey, it's Dolph. Hey guys, watch this. Woohoo! I'm gonna do that at the underwater ball. Probably gonna get first place in the dance contest. Underwater ball? I guess my invitation got lost in the mail. What? OMG whiz, of course you're invited. How would I not invite my bestie? Cindy, it's going to be the best ball you ever went to, and I know that's like your thing. Looks like everyone was enjoying themselves on Paradise Beach, but on another shore nearby. Recognize them? Cinderella's old stepsisters and stepmother, Unga and Gritzel, hadn't been up to much good since their old days of being mean to Cinderella. Oh, and look! That's the sea witch. She was back at it and just being a nasty old crumb, casting wicked spells and turning people into sea urchins. Boy, what a gang. Oh, that's so not cool. Look at them, cavorting, clapping, having a good time. Ugh. Why can't we have a good time? We are having a good time. We're at the beach, aren't we? I wouldn't exactly call Misery Cove a beach. Yeah, the sea is full of jellyfish. Um, that's not a jellyfish, that's a diaper. Exactly! All the garbage from the dump flows into the water. And there's no sand, just jagged rocks and slippery marbles. And it's always raining. It's awful. No one ever invites us to royal balls anymore. Where are we supposed to meet princes? I want to be a princess. These two are always whining. Can you turn them into urchins, please? You really want to go to that wretched underwater ball? Yes. yes. I can get you in, but there's one catch. There's always a catch. Yeah, and the catch is, you must get me that wand. The fairy godmother's wand? Yes, I'm a powerful sea witch, but if I had the fairy godmother's wand, I'd have all the powers of the world, under the sea and on land. Uh-oh, this doesn't sound good. Uh-oh, she's starting to sound evil and scheming. Cue the maniacal laughter. <laughs> Wait, one question. What? It's an underwater ball. We can't swim. That's easy. I'll just turn you into mermaids. Really? You can do that? Yeah, and you'll meet some handsome sea princes, too. Sound good? I'm in. Where do I sign up? You gotta go stand in the water. I don't have my regular powers on the land. <laughs> It's so cold. Owie, I think I stepped on a crab. Mermaid spell, abracab. Um. Can you try again? I think something went wrong. Oh, sorry. See, I really need that wand. Okay, mermaid spell, abracad. Wow. Look at me, I'm a beautiful mermaid. <gasps> That's so magical. Look at this fin, isn't it neat? Wouldn't you say? Whoa, 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 hold on. My magic doesn't cover copyright infringement. Sing something else, Mariah. Oh, look at me, I'm a mermaid. La, 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 la. What about me? How am I supposed to escort my daughters to an underwater ball? Shouldn't I be a mermaid too? You give me that wand and I'll take care of you too, sweetheart. And just so that we're clear, what happens if I don't get you the wand? You'll be turned into a miserable little sea urchin. <laughs> ah, little seaweed stuck in the throat there. So the underwater ball was shaping up to be a pretty epic time. Princesses, mean stepsister mermaids, sea witches, fairy godmothers, and a plot for grand theft larceny. Ooh, interesting. 
Let's keep reading. Chapter two, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Everyone was getting super excited for the underwater ball. Oonga and Greensel were practicing their mermaid dance moves. Ah. And Cinderella and the Little Mermaid were discussing their outfits and the general goings on of the underwater ball. How does one dance at an underwater ball? <laughs> Same as anywhere else, like this. Um, is this a dance battle? Because I'm ready. Hey, why didn't anyone invite me to the dance party? I've got moves. <laughs> um, yep. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, that's good. <gasps> Do the dolph. Oh, yeah. Do the dolph. Do the dolph. Wow, this is so fun. <sighs> okay, so <laughs> what does one eat at an underwater ball? Well, cake doesn't work so well. It gets very soggy. And never serve shrimp cocktail. It makes the shrimp very upset. Noted. <laughs> so what does one wear at an underwater ball? <gasps> Glass flippers. Get it? Do you get it? Glass flippers. No, forget it. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Fashion, fashion party, party montage, montage time. time. It's fashion montage time. If you're going to a ball, try on clothes. If you're going to a ball, do your hair. If you're going to a ball and you want to twirl around, make sure you pick a twirly twirly gown. Will it be this? Will it be that? I might even try on a hat. Ooh, flowy. <laughs> so angelic. So cute. Too casual. Purple, blue. Purple, blue, purple, and blue? OMG, I love it. It's perfect for the underwater ball. That looks so beautiful. Now time to accessorize. Ooh, too much? Ooh. Wait a minute, I don't need sunglasses for an underwater ball. I need goggles! Hello, hello. Whoa! If you're going to a ball, choose some shoes. If you're going to a ball, choose some shoes. Ooh, sparkly! I love it! You know what would make this like a million times more fun? What? Fairy godmother magic. Did someone say fairy godmother? Yay! <laughs> Trust me, this is the most fun way to get ready for a ball. What's a look you'd like to try, honey? Um, I guess I've always wanted to have rainbow hair. Done. Whoa! You look awesome! How about fairy wings? Oh, yeah! Yay! That is amazing! Meanwhile, someone was watching. Cinderella's stepmother was spying and scheming how to steal the fairy godmother's magic wand. She tried distracting the fairy godmother. Yoo-hoo! Over here! Did someone say something? I said maybe a gown made of diamonds? Ooh, yes! I love that idea! She tried to take it while the fairy godmother dozed off for a minute. <sighs> Where were we? Pink mohawk? Yeah, I can do that! She even tried to go ninja style and swipe it. Voila! A unicorn horn, honey. So close. Finally, the stepmother dressed herself up like a maid and entered the room. Don't mind me. I'm just coming to tidy up a bit. Hi. Uh, who are you? I'm, uh, I'm Wa Wanda. I'm Wanda. I'm just here to steal. I, I, I mean to clean up a little. Hmm. You look so familiar. No, no, I don't think so. You don't know me. Okay. Got it. Ah, watch out! I've never held a magic wand before. I wonder if I could do some spells. Oh, no! Oh, this is very dangerous. I'd better get it to the sea witch. A-S-A-B. Should I just ask my fairy godmother to turn me into a mermaid for the night? Oh, that would be fun! We could be twinsies! Fairy Godmother, I know you said I would be fine underwater with the breathing and all, but maybe it would be super fun to be a mermaid for the night! That does sound fun! Let me see what I can do! Now with a wave of my wand... What? My wand! It has to be here somewhere! You just had it! It's gone! I better go fly around and see if I can spot it! 
this is bad. This is very, very bad. If that wand gets into the wrong hands, we could be in very big trouble. Well, don't look at me. I don't even have hands. We have to find that wand. But it was too late. The wand had already gotten into the wrong hands, and she was ready to do some damage. Cue the maniacal laughter. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no, this doesn't look good. To be continued. Thanks for coming. Bye.